Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about something that seems to have gone under the radar for most fans of the series. In the many months since Fallen Kingdom's release, I've been seeing a lot of fan speculation and discussion on what the plot will be like in Jurassic World 3. It's safe to say that most of us, myself included, are pretty unsure as to where they'll end the series. We know that Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler are said to be in the new film in some capacity due to some recent interviews with Colin Trevorrow, and apparently Ian Malcolm may still be in talks for the film as well. In fact, after one of the new Bryce Dallas Howard interviews quotes her with saying that she's really hoping for Claire Deering to see and interact with Ian Malcolm in the flesh, I'd say JP6 is going to be one big family reunion for the Jurassic series. But with all of these characters coming together to give one final Jurassic experience for all of us, one does wonder, what will that mean for all of the dinosaurs? I mean, these creatures are indeed the selling point for the universe in which Alan, Ellie, Ian, Owen, and Claire live in, and they happen to be the same selling point for people to see these movies. So how are they going to factor themselves into the new film? Well, of course, if you've seen Fallen Kingdom, you'll no doubt know that a small group of dinosaurs escaped from the Lockwood Estate and ran into the forests of Northern California at the end of the film. You'll also note that someone managed to get all viable embryos away from the mansion, and the few auction buyers that left before the chaos commenced also have a handful of dinosaurs. But despite all of the setup for the next movie, I've been hearing a lot of people converse about how small and rather insignificant this breakout is for mankind. I know a lot of people are under the impression that all of those animals would be relatively easy to hunt down and kill if this were to ever happen in real life. Well, this is where I want to bring up that little bit of information that seems to have flown under some people's radar. You see, way back on February 4th of this year, long before Fallen Kingdom even came out, there was a little article on the Canon website, the Dinosaur Protection Group. And in that first report on the site, the last paragraph starts out like this. The controversial decision by Mizrani Global to do nothing has caused more harm than good. In recent years since, they're talking about Jurassic World here, there have been reports of certain species falling back into extinction, like the Metriacanthosaurus and Edmontosaurus, dozens of cases of illegal activity around Nublar, as well as rumors of rogue groups claiming to have access to the cloning technology. Now that last part, I feel, is something that people should not take lightly. Look, I know I've said this before in the past, but I really want to just reiterate this one more time because I think this is something people need to consider. That whole dinosaur exodus and escape at the end of Fallen Kingdom is something that I personally think is really just a bit of symbolism that some are taking quite literally. With the auction buyers that got away with dinosaurs being of various different national backgrounds and the acquisition of Dr. Wu's DNA at the end of the film taking place, I really believe that the next movie is going to be way bigger than just the woods of California. If you're asking me personally, I think they set up all of these different chess pieces at the end of the last movie to really lay the groundwork for dinosaurs being all over the planet. Even in the viral marketing material that was dated a good four months before Fallen Kingdom was released, they told us that people are claiming to have stolen some of the cloning technology off of Nublar. I'm pretty sure those people plan on using that stuff sometime soon. I'm not so sure that the next movie is going to pick up immediately after where this film left off. In three years time, I think the world will be a very different place from where we last saw it. It won't be anything like Planet of the Apes bad for humans, but it's definitely not going to be three or four dinosaurs left in the Californian woods that people need to go and take out. No, in my opinion, everything is pointing towards dinosaurs being something that people see in their everyday lives. I think they'll be cloned, shipped, housed, and bred all over the planet for an abundance of different reasons, giving us a whole new set of ethical questions, debates, and dangers to be discussed in what looks like will be the ultimate Jurassic experience. But again, this is just what I think about what's going to happen. You could have your own interpretation that's wholly different from mine, and that's completely fine. We won't know for sure until June 11th of 2021. Okay, now that we've talked about all that, I want to thank a subscriber by the name of Christopher Nicola for bringing this up. It's something that he's wanted everyone to mull over for some time now, and I agree that it's a pretty important part of the DPG. One thing I will say though is that I honestly couldn't find any info in the DPG in regards to anyone stealing the technology from Sorna. I know this was the big reason you wanted to go over this topic, but I unfortunately wasn't able to locate anything on Site B. Still, I wouldn't rule that island out of at least a conversation or line of dialogue in Jurassic World 3. I have a feeling it's going to come up sometime in the future. Now before I go, I want to thank my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. 
I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Michael Tribble and Darren the Beamed 19 Nelson. Words can't really express how awesome it is to have you guys tell me how much you enjoy the stuff I do, and I seriously am extremely thankful for everything that you guys do to help. It honestly means the world. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video, and I hope that you all enjoyed today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and I hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. As always, take it easy.